6.38 p.m. That's the time the state pronounced Alan Miller dead. Tonight, Miller becoming the second person in history to have his death sentence carried out using nitrogen hypoxia. That method becoming rather controversial earlier this year when it was first used at Atmore. And that's because there's been ongoing debates on whether this method of execution is ethical. When the state utilized it for the execution of Kenneth Smith in January, advocates argued he suffered from seizure-like spasms and several minutes of labored breathing. However, Attorney General Steve Marshall argued this method is reliable and humane. WVTM 13's Gladys Bautista acting as a state witness tonight to Miller's execution. Tell us what you saw, Gladys. Well, guys, Sherry, the execution last, lasted roughly about 16 minutes, and during that time, Miller could be seen visibly shaking, trembling, and pulling at his restraints for the first two minutes after the gas started to flow. After the death warrant was read, Miller recited his last words, saying, quote, I didn't do anything to be in here. He ended saying, quote, I didn't do anything to be on death row. His spiritual advisor was by his side, and as he appeared to pray, that's when the gas started to flow. And that is when Miller started to shake, tremble, pull at his restraints. And after about two minutes of that, that is when he appeared to have lost consciousness. Miller, as you guys mentioned, was pronounced dead at 638. His siblings and a friend were among the witnesses. One female witness who we later learned was an attorney was visibly upset and crying. No one from any of the victims' families showed up. Guys, Sherry. Well, Gladys, you asked the Alabama Department of Corrections if Miller was sedated as the gas started flowing. Yes, I did, and they referred me to Miller's attorneys, but when it began, it didn't appear that he was completely sedated. When I did ask the Alabama Department of Corrections, they said that they, quote, prepared him prior to the gas beginning to flow, but that was the question for me and the other state witnesses was if he was fully sedated before the gas started to kick in.